Ladies and gentlemen, we've got breaking news. Ronald Torres and Magnaris Sierra are locked in a standoff. Teams were on the field for the national anthem prior to the game, and these two gentlemen have decided they're not worried about the first pitch. And I'm not worried about when it's going to be. I'm standing here. I'm going to stand my ground. Sierra waits and waits and waits. He's Oh, whoa, look out now. Hey, Philly fanatic, come on now. Can't be having that. It's a family program. What's he doing? He's getting right in the grill there. I mean, how many times have we said the stone-faced Magnaris Sierra? Now, this is not a staring contest. There can be laughter. For those of you that don't know the rules of the rules of engagement here. Philly Fanatics are going to join now, too. Aaron Nola's ready to go. And uh, listen, when you're, one of your aces is ready to go, I don't know if, if you're Ronald Torres, if that's the guy to mix it up with. Hey, now. All right, we, we can't have this Randall Simon moment again. Everybody laughed about it years ago, but let's not do it, Jazz. Come on. Max is still out there. Somebody better get Max a helmet. Crying out loud, this game's about ready to start. I think Phil Cuzzy's about to lose it on somebody behind the plate tonight. Well, he better not find any substances on either one of them. <laughs> let's see. I mean, maybe, maybe he's oblivious to the whole thing, Phil Cuzzy. I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's a, a lot of urgency here to clear the field of these two gentlemen. We've got our base coaches have taken the field. Aaron Nola's about four, five, six warm-up pitches into this thing. Ronald Torres, I will say this, has been a little more stoic through this standoff. Well, I mean, but nobody's gone at him yet, though. You know, he didn't True. have to deal with the Philly fanatic or a teammate or anything else like that. You know, they just kind of let him, you know, ha have his quiet time. Yeah, that's a good point, you know. Listen, Max is, you know, he's hanging in there. I, I feel like more people have really kind of gone at him to get him off his game. Yeah. He's holding strong, though. Yeah, he is. It hasn't garnered the attention of the umpire recruit yet. Phil Cuzzy behind the plate. John Bacon is at first. He should be responsible <laughs> for Ronald Torres. Mark Ripperger's over at third. He should be responsible for uh, Mags over at third. And Tom Hallion's the crew chief. He's in charge of everybody. And still, we wait. Now the throw down to second. Now, here we go. Now it's time. Now is where the rubber meets the road. And who budges? The plate has been cleaned off. JT Realmuto is waving off former teammate Magnaris Sierra. Phil Cuzzy is maybe now on board with what's going on here. He puts his mask on him. <laughs> we might play ball anyway. <laughs> How great this, would that be? <laughs> this it's going to happen. I well, think it's going to happen. We're going to get there for the the first time ever. We would. Oh, here we go. Okay. Phil Cuzzy said hey. at the same time. Same here time. we go. Fake it, Max. Fake it. Uh, Don't do it. Max we got wins. a winner. Max wins. We got a winner. He wins. That's it. Great job. <laughs> Just a slight hesitation at the end. And he outlasts Ronald Torres. Oh, it was a brilliant head fake. You see him kind of raise up just a little bit yeah. right there with the chin, kind of give that open hip like he's going to take a step and then, uh-uh, for right. the win. Awesome.